Cycle 2, Week 4, Abstract Art. Um, this one's fun because you just, you're going to make kids, or you, you should, try and make kids understand that there's art in everything. And art doesn't have to necessarily just be beautiful. Um, it can, you can find beauty in things that maybe you wouldn't necessarily think that are beautiful. So in your red or blue folder, there's going to be these pictures um, for week four, and they're just different abstract images. We've used these before, so if you feel like you have an older class and they are over those images, then just print some new ones, um, and you can either keep them in the folder with that, or you can um, just throw them away when you're done. But um, the point is just to kind of look at them and see what do you see in them, and in the back of your tutor scripts, there are questions about what to ask, um, what to ask when you're looking at art. And they're really great questions. We used them last year. So maybe use those, use different ones. Um, but I encourage you just to get a discussion going about art. Again, try and pick different kids in your class that maybe aren't talking and see what they see or make every single kid have a comment on the same piece of art. And it can't be the same as the last person. So, um, something like that just to get a discussion going on those pieces and so you can ask them hey do you think you can see art in decaying garbage or um, leftover food or things like that and some kids might say no and some kids might say yes and ultimately the answer is yes you can always find art or beauty to someone in something um, which is kind of a cool comment so it's the same way that maybe someone might think one food is really good and uh, someone else might not um, so that's kind of our first thing. Extend that out a little bit. Please do try and take about 10 minutes or so to do that. Um, and look around your room. See if there's any art in there that you can talk about and what they see. Our second one, super fun. Um, we're going to do again from our book, Paint Lab. It's called What a Drag. And so this is kind of their end result, but it's not going to be yours. Um, and this is the images that we're going to go through. I'm just going to let you look at those and then I'll talk about them. So every kid is going to get a sheet of paper and put the name label right on the back first thing just so we don't forget. Um, and then we're going to have a few paper plates and some cardboard squares. And this isn't going to be, this is mine, this is yours, this is mine. Like we're all going to kind of share. This is a collaborative um, artwork that we're going to do that we're going to work on and so we have a bunch of cardboard squares here and they're just random sizes and first thing that you're going to do is you're going to give kids a scissors and you're going to let them cut out shapes so um, here are some ideas of shapes rectangles circles I did this on one just to conserve um, you can also you can do it do different shapes on one but you can maybe just do it on two sides. Again, I just did it all on one just to conserve for showing purposes. So you can do zigzags. There's different things, right, that you can do. Um, kids can make up their own. So you can cut these in half too, and so you can have more squares. Make sure though that that's all you have for both classes. So if you're the first class, try not to use them all up. And so the second class can have a little bit of creativity as well. Um, just use these scissors, they will be fine. Kids might complain that they can't cut it. They can. Just encourage them, please. Um, encourage them that they can do it and allow them to do it and allow them to struggle through it. It's, let's not, like, jump in as a tutor or a parent to do it for them and let them do it because they know that they can. Every kid, um, minus maybe a few of the very small four-year-olds, can all do this. So allow for that. Um, and I want them to have fun, but I just want them to feel that sense of accomplishment once they get it done. So first thing that we're gonna do is um, we're gonna have plastic credit cards, like the gift cards or whatever that I will grab for you. I don't have them right now. So I just use the flat side of my cardboard and you're going to, let's see, yeah, I can do this. Each paper plate should probably only have one color on it. I did this um, again for conserving purposes, but I would say each plate should just have one color and you're gonna use the tempera pigs in your green bin this time. So you're going to kind of, um, where's my spoon? 
So do you see how I put it in a line and not in a blob in the middle? Because a blob in the middle is not gonna help us. So we're gonna get it wet. And then I actually started, so I'm not gonna do it, but you can see the idea. And you're gonna drag it across. And the idea is you don't, if you can see my paper, I did this probably three minutes ago and it's mostly dry. So you really wanna drag that across so we can get some more um, texture and lines on it on top of it. So, so I did the blue, I dragged it across, and then um, again, drag it across again to try and get some of that extra paint out. And then you're gonna use some of your cool shapes. You're gonna use your circles and your um, jaggedy points or whatever the kids came up with. We have, you know, rectangle lines. And so you're gonna, I'll do it on this one. You're gonna run it through the paint like this. Okay, so I've got my paint here. And let's see if I can do this. Okay, and then going to, again, this is, let me try and get that one up. Okay, there. And then I'm gonna run it up. So do you see how I went zigzag, I went angled, I flipped my paper, I turned it around, and then the kids can kind of stop whenever they want. They do have only one sheet though, so encourage them to maybe take their time and have a little bit of a plan before seeing what they're gonna do. But the idea is just to keep layering it on so you can kind of see. Um, right here in this one, right, they have different images and then in the end you're almost scraping some of it away to get those um, colors from the beginning that you can see. So that's it. If you have time at the end and you need something to do, I always love doing a ta-da moment. So I have all the kids hold their paper and then I count three, one, two, three, you say ta-da and everyone can say it and the little kids really like it. Um, I don't know about the bigger kids, but um, little kids love it if you have extra time. Good luck.